Hey, how's it going everybody? Charlie Wilson here, aka Sinister Charlie. Welcome back. Hi. Uh, I'm very tired. It's nice to meet you. I don't know what. Uh, it's nice to meet you. I'm very tired. Um, yeah, uh, we got another Angry Cops. This was a suggestion. Um, Marine Officer makes the dumbest tweet ever. Uh, I saw a little bit of the thumbnail. I uh, read a little bit of the tweet that was in the thumbnail. And... Um, yeah, it sounds kind of stupid. For a Marine officer, well, for for an officer, it's pretty stupid, I guess. Officers are actually kind of stupid. Anyway, that's my that's, that's my soliloquy on officers. They're very stupid. Um, yeah, something about enlisted shouldn't become officers or something. It's like, dude, those are like the best officers, the ones who are enlisted. I, the best... Uh, some of the best officers I know were enlisted at one point um, uh, when got their uh, college educations and, you know, yeah, it's just they're, they're more experienced, so they're, they're better at handling certain situations. Um, but yeah, I, I need to make sure I'm okay. I had to make sure I was recording. That was going to be a really stupid, uh, stupid thing I just did. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, let's, let's hear it. If you don't think that a command climate survey Oh, sorry. It matters about your individual <laughs> unit's readiness or your ability to lead them. You're fucking high. Excuse that is me. the best example of the worst officer ever. Some people would say that there's a bit of a divide between. Yeah, I, I've taken a few of those surveys that, um, where they uh, do you th they ask you questions like, uh, do you think that uh, there's a um, racial problems within the military? And they're very vague about it. It's like, yeah, I guess so guess there's racial issues in the military and just like any other business or i don't know it's really stupid that's what i'm trying to Between say the enlisted ranks and the officer ranks and some enlisted men would say that there's just officers that don't think that the enlisted are people and there true are that. officers that say well that's just not true and what did we learn there are people now yeah <laughs> and then there are moments like this that give credence to the enlisted worries that the officer rank think that they are so much better than the lowly enlisted men. And yeah. Uh, by the way, I was in E5 when I got out. Um, uh, I could have stayed in, uh, but I, after six years of just, it it wears on you so much. Um, yeah, good experience, though. <laughs> <laughs> that they could never take themselves to be as dirty as enlisted men. And that's Ivan Snook on Twitter. Retired Snook. U.S. Army. Oh, he's sorry. Retired. Okay. We don't want you. Retired U.S. Marine. Ivan Snook is a bit of a kook. Mm. A bit of a douche, you'd say. He went on Twitter and caused such a tither. And now everyone knows he's lame. Kooky Snooky's tweet <laughs> got a lot of traction. 1.1 1. 1 million views. Wow, that's a lot. That Stating is a lot. that enlisted men should not become officers. A Mustang. That's a slang term for enlisted men who becomes an officer. Oh, it's kind of like when a comedian calls uh, uh, a regular person a civilian. It's like, uh, could you be any more demeaning? These Mustangs. It sounds cool, though. Sir, and let's let's backtrack and why he said that. Now the tweets and the message chain started off yeah. when a young enlisted man who's trying but wants to become an officer stated that he had some mental health assistance. But in order to become an officer, you have to give up all of your medical documents, including that mental health assistance, which cleared him. He's totally fine for duty. But he doesn't want anybody to know about the mental difficulties he had. That's yeah, personal. That's... He could find it embarrassing. And what if it prevented him from getting promoted? Yeah. Now everybody knows his business that he got fixed anyway. He's still serving. He's totally fine to serve. And another outstanding NCO responded saying, if he's good oh, to NCO. go for service, why does somebody else have to dig down? I was like, what? NCO? Okay. <laughs> down into his past to try and find something that has already been fixed. That really is only just a way for someone to nitpick him out of the position. And that prevents good NCOs from becoming great officers. And of course, it being the internet, some idiot has to respond with their two cents. Insert kooky snooky. The oh, military should stop giving commissions to any enlisted. Mustangs erode the legitimacy and distinct culture of the officer corps. <laughs> like merchants marrying into the aristocracy. Nevertheless, we are intent on lowering the standards and reducing military service to being just a job. Oh God, we can't have the dirty working class marrying into the aristocracy. <laughs> what a Heaven jerk. forbid we have somebody who knows what it takes to get the job. I bet this officer was supply too. He was a Marine officer, but he's probably like, you know, 
uh, what is it, S3, I think, or S6. I can't remember what it is. Um, this is what it was in the Navy, anyway. Um, yeah, dude, shut up. I've done it and it's done it. Move up into a leadership level in order to, I don't know, assist that aristocracy, Officer Glass, in making better decisions? No, 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 no. We automatically have these better decisions because we're in the aristocracy. Our ideas are good because of where we are. They think a four-year degree right out of high school is like the tits. I don't know what it is about officers. It's like it's probably a liberal arts degree. It's like, shut up. It's not like my, we had an officer on our combat security team. Um, he was a former Marine. Uh, he got out, went to college to get a civil engineering degree and then came back in with the CBs. Uh, yeah. It's like, dude, that guy's, that guy's college education is actually worth something. Like he's a civil engineer. Like I, I, I just don't, ugh. Ugh. That's the same logic Bull. as saying that the 101 is the best airborne division in the United States Army because I happen to be in the 101. Well, of course. Well, what happens when that troop goes to the 82nd or 10th Mountain Division? Well, that dumb troop who what thinks that his unit is the best because he's in it will think that that next unit is the best and sure. then that next unit is the best because they have no idea how to think for themselves. Kooky, he must have a silver spoon all the way up his ass in order to make a comment like that and double down. Let's just see how double Kooky down, Snooky doesn't Johnny. respond to reason. One of the many responses to Kooky Snooky's tweet was this. What is the purpose of E to O enlisted to officer pathways? Military effectiveness? A sop to the plebes? <laughs> Kooky Snooky responds. <laughs> marking materials for recruiters to give upper middle class moms. <laughs> What wow. the fuck class is bullshit is this? What the hell? I've never seen such a stereotypical nose high in the air. Wow. High off their own piss. It's to make the dumb poors happy, for which we choose to let them live and or die. That is as we so sit drinking up. tea and looking at overlays on top of the wall. Mmm, ah, yes. Third battalion should be at the top of the hill, not the bottom. <laughs> 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 Ah, yes, yes. Unfortunately for Snooky, more dirty enlisted men chimed in. Ah. I feel dirty just hearing about it. Ew. Bunch of gross idiots. <laughs> I'm a retired Marine Corps Master Gunnery Sergeant. I served 23 years and 12 more hey, as a civilian supporting the Marine Corps. There's no question that Mustangs make good officers. We have plenty of combat experience that proves it, and that's why the program remains. What do you think about that, Cookie Snooky? What is what is the effect on the officer corps? I can't even say. I can't. I have to read like. What is the effect? Oh, hold on. My, my... on the officer. My headphones decided to take a shit real quick. I don't know why I did that. I think I need new. I just got these headphones too. Um, I had to junk my really good uh, my really good uh, razor headphones. Anyway, sorry. Core as a whole. Oh my God! It's as is currently the case. You have many, if not most, enlisted openly saying that only yeah. officers I will respect are Mustangs. In sorry. what ways were you precluded from contributing to combat by being a senior NCO instead of a commissioned officer? You hear that, kids? Stay in your lane. Don't come up here and lead. You stay down there and do. Yeah, you bunch We of need jerks. you down there, not up here with us. You stay with the enlisted men because you started as an enlisted man. Don't muddy our waters. I love the last line. In what ways were you precluded from contributing to combat by being a senior NCO instead of a commissioned officer? What precludes him from being an effective officer if he was already an effective non-commissioned officer? Yeah, you jerk. The answer is your stupid viewpoint, you jizz. Now, Kooky Snooky, uh, is, with his, you know, deformed brain, tries to... It's odd. Rationalize his train of thought oh here. Oh, my God. Look at all the comments here along the lines of, the only officers I ever respected were Mustangs. That's true. Well, some of them. It's over a thousand comments here. Now. Most of that respect is for the Mustang's technical expertise and capacity for empathy in contrast to the non-Mustang's lack of technical expertise and mere sympathy. And it is fundamentally narcissistic. Unlike your what? entire take on this, I'm that sorry, dirty what? enlisted men who just joined the branch in a different way are- Pot meat kettle, dude. What the hell? 
too besmirched <laughs> and tainted to become a high-class wow. officer. I think you accidentally just shit on yourself. NCOs have a technical expertise in the job already. So, if you're five or six years as an NCO and become an officer, you already know how things are supposed yep. to be. Hell, you might even be an asset to your chain of command because now you're an officer with a different point of view. The enlisted sees himself in the Mustang as evidence that they themselves are more worthy than non-Mustang officers. As a platoon leader, yeah. As a company commander, possibly. Once you become field grade, your Mustangness is kind of it's kind of evaporated among the troops. This causes yeah. a very widespread belief among the enlisted that 90% of officers aren't worth following. Well, you, yeah. sir, are a well, hundred percent. I would, dude. Uh, I would say I will give you a little bit more credit and say about 70% of officers are not worth following. <laughs> 90% is a bit much. I agree. But 70% I think is a good number. An officer not worth following. If you think all the enlisted below you need to stay there and mind their own business and stay out of officer affairs. Oh my gosh, the Navy is the worst at this. And this is coming from a department of the Navy cat. Hey. So that their judgment is dubious. <laughs> you, sir, I think have been smoking on the dubious if you thought that this was a good tweet and that they're legal. I think he's talking about weed. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's talking about weed. I, I, I wouldn't know, though. Legal orders should be subverted. A good enlisted man and a good officer will have a line of communication between the See, two. So that when the butter bar says something fucking dumb, <laughs> the lower enlisted man, even a specialist or corporal, can go, Lieutenant, no. No, that's a bad idea. And that's... Yeah, and if you've ever seen uh, the uh, HBO series uh, Generation Kill, that's uh, put front and center. Uh, it makes officers look really bad. Uh, and it should, uh, especially what happened in Iraq. The point, you fucking idiot. You have the lowest of the officer rank with a senior enlisted man paired up because one's technical prowess... <laughs> expertise that you just stated Great. is well above that of the officer so then the nco can quickly bring them up to snuff so it's our job that you are a good officer for the first four or five six years and obviously the nco that you were with failed you because i would have taken you out in the fucking pit if you had this fucking <laughs> stupid idea you does this idiot realize that it's not 1810 anymore and everybody has a pretty good education it's just whether or not you get in when you're young or you get in after college. You spend four years in fucking college. What do you have? What do you have? A liberal arts degree? Uh, this guy's got to have a it, degree in philosophy. <laughs> so I was saying the same thing, man. Uh, just, dude, what, I really want to know where he, what kind of officer he was. Like, I don't think uh, it's so. It's hard to wrap your brain around stupidity like that because nothing but useless shit is coming out of his mouth useless shit wrapping papered up in big shiny words to make you shiny think that words. it means anything surely you don't think this supports good order and discipline yeah it does don't be a shitty leader and then we won't have to correct you and pull you aside and yep. say sir shut the fuck up and what is the overriding benefit to turning these excellent enlisted marines into officers instead of senior ncos their point of view their expertise, the fact that they've seen poor leadership and great leadership and had to follow it. And now they can look amongst their peers, now officers, and say, you should not do this or that because it will be taken in such a direction. Like maybe you shouldn't tweet about how we're maybe. fucking stupid, dumb, <laughs> useless Mustangs. Look, I've, t I've tweeted out some dumb things before, but uh, that's pretty bad. Or oh, it's be it. And the enlisted should stay there and just stay in their lane in front of the group because then you have no leadership power. This fucking doofus thinks that the rank is where you get your power from. And that's somewhat true. Hey, military customs and courtesies, respect the rank, not the individual. If you're in charge, I have to understand and respect and follow orders. But at the same time, if you don't think that a command climate survey matters about your individual unit's readiness or your ability to lead, then you're fucking high. If nobody trusts you or likes you, and you're a company commander, and basically meaning you're a shitty company commander if nobody likes you or trusts you, yeah. 
How effective do you think you're gonna be in combat? You're not. Thank God you got out of fucking recon. You couldn't recon your fucking ass out of a wet paper bag, <laughs> let alone look at a tweet and see how fucking mind-numbingly tone deaf it is. You never need a colonoscopy because your head's so far up your ass, you could just look around and see where the cancer is. It's you, buddy. You're the cancer. What do they accomplish as a battalion executive officer that they couldn't as battalion sergeant major? If a fucking sergeant major says, hey, we're gonna do a fun run today, and the battalion commander says, no, we're not, guess that's what you're not doing for a guy who's been preaching about they can't take away our authority and it's given to us you 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 just fucking flipped ship there and just said well they're about the same thing aren't they oh my god Aren't they? <laughs> and what happens to the junior Marine's opinion of their sergeant major when all the best enlisted, the ones worth following, are expected to have become officers? Nobody's expecting yeah. anybody to have become an officer. We're saying, hey, enlisted becoming officer is a Yeah, when I was in, I had no like uh intention or drive to become an officer. I, I didn't even want to go to college, honestly. I, I honestly I joined the Navy just to get away from my family because they were all on meth. And I needed to get out of there. That was a big part of it. Uh, and traveling would have been, you know, I was joining the Navy because I wanted to travel. But, yeah, it's like I had no intentions of becoming an officer. Most enlisted don't have intentions of becoming officers. Uh, there's like one or two, maybe three, uh, that you'll meet that want to be officers. And I met one of them. He became an officer. He's, uh, I don't know if he's still in. Uh, his name is, uh, last name is Barry. Um, yeah, he went from the Seabees to the fleet. So I think he was a line officer or something. I, it's like it happens every, it's very rare, but some people do want to do it. It's just, I, uh, uh. <laughs> a good thing. And you're saying, no, so it's not for all these dumb reasons that don't make sense. That for some reason, everybody's shitting me on, but I'm looking at from my fucking ivory tower saying I couldn't possibly be wrong. Insert Simpsons quote perfectly here. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. <clears throat> so I'm going to say what everybody else has been saying, but I feel like they're walking around the bush. Ivan Snook, you are a horrible officer <laughs> there you go. in Thank any you. branch, and unfortunately, the Marine Corps is able to call you one of theirs. God bless them. You are the walking stereotype of the teetotaling pinky in the air along with nose in the air shit don't stink officer who belittles and detests the enlistment underneath him, yet demands they follow his every order and if it's not done to the exact specification of your standards oh it's just because they're dumb idiots and how dare they dirty your walking floor to come in and think they can advance their career in the same way that you're doing yours I see now why your tiny penis very scared <laughs> mini libido could not hey we don't know that for sure I need pictures <laughs> handle a scary enlistment walking into the office and sitting next to you because he can smell your bullshit from a fucking mile away and call it out to the fucking lieutenant colonel and XO of your battalion and say this guy is gonna be fucking fratricided in a heartbeat <laughs> if we let him go anywhere near the enlistment which is why I think he's probably so. supply if you want to support a stupid enlistment like myself check out angry-cops.com I've got brand new hey. limited time whoopee hoodies. All right. And I might look at it. See you next time, weirdos. Uh, I was a recon oh. marine captain. You were <laughs> oh, fucking okay. I missed that part. Is is recon? Okay, well that's different. But I did see. Uh, you know, um, uh, Generation Kill was about the recon marines, so it does kind of actually make sense when you go back and look at that uh, mini series. That he's an idiot. Idiot. I can't wait. I wish his, if you are one of his troops, if oh, you got God. out and you feel like telling me about him, you go ahead and slide into my DMs and tell me how much of a piece oh, of shit leader God. he was. I'll gobble it up like a pig eating shit. That's awesome. Be ba da ba doop doop boop and just give a gobble goop and you run 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 and you run some more because you're in the Marines or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I have to do it. If there's a little tune at the end of a video, I have to sing something. Uh, all right. That was a good video. I like that. That was awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's Maybe in every line of work, maybe it doesn't have to just do with the military. Maybe if you're like in a higher position of authority, you shouldn't treat everyone like pieces of shit.
I don't know. This is my way of looking at the world. Maybe you're all human beings and, you know, I understand you're in charge, but it doesn't mean you need to treat people like lesser than you. I don't know. It's just me. I don't know. It's that, that a lot of that stuff comes from like childhood and like high school and stuff. And I would like to say maybe the guy was bullied a lot, but dude, I was bullied a lot and I didn't act, I don't act that way. <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot, a lot going on there. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like you and subscribe you down below. It makes me feel real good inside and helps out the channel. Um, and if you got any suggestions, this was a suggestion. I forget who. So I apologize if you wanted recognition. Uh, I'm not very good with names. Good with faces. Um, I don't know what that means, but, you know, <laughs> it's an excuse, I guess. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, just comment down below if you got any uh, suggestions and stuff like that, and we'll get to those. Um, so thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And bye.